first told you about a new kind of breast cancer treatment three years ago. Doctors at Sunnybrook Health Sciences Center in Toronto began using a new 3D imaging technology to determine early in treatment exactly how well chemotherapy was working in patients with aggressive breast cancer. Now the results of that study have been just been published and they could have huge implications for the future of customized treatment. Dr. Rebecca Dent is an oncologist at Sunnybrook and Rosemary Aubert is a breast cancer patient who's part of the study. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning. Well, Let's talk about, first of all, but, you know, how crucial this is. I mean, how this, this is amazing technology. Absolutely. So this is what's great about this technology is that it really adds to the fact that we're trying to tailor treatment to patients, trying to get better treatments, less toxicity, and using a green technology that has no ionizing radiation and uses no contrast. So it's very comfortable for patients, and it's going to help me better decide what treatment to do. So get. in other words, I mean, just to take a step back, we're talking about treatments now that are tailor-made for people. So we're now finding like radiation is something that we can use on everybody, but obviously it's going to have toxic effects. Well, you're tailoring medicines now to people's DNA? We're doing that, but what else we're doing is, so when we give a patient a chemotherapy, this technology, basically, we look at it three days before treatment, one week, four weeks, eight weeks after treatment. Okay. Normally, it's several months before we know whether a chemo is really effective or whether right. our targeted treatment. With this technology, we potentially in the future can tell up to just a couple of weeks after the treatment whether it's working, and if it's not, switch the treatment. That's amazing. So then you can, so time, obviously time is always of the essence here. Exactly. So we're able not to just to look at one moment in time and say, is this treatment working or not, but follow it over time and see, are the tumor cells being killed? Because things like MRI give you one snapshot, tell you one picture, but is it scar tissue? Right. We, you can't tell. Whereas this is what's called functioning or metabolic imaging. So we can tell, have we stopped the blood supply to the tumor? Are the cells being killed? And this kind of technology can tell us that. And Rosemary was one of the first patients to be on the study. Were you, and whenever you hear something about, oh, we've got, we've got an experimental program, would you be interested in, in participating? Is that how you were approached on this? Um, yes, and I've always been really happy to participate in experiments for a couple of reasons. Um, cancer is a terrifying illness, uh, yes, yeah. so you have to find any positive uh, aspect of it that you can. And I'm very interested in science. I'm not a scientist; it's my hobby. So even though it seemed so, you rather, enjoyed kind of keeping track of really things that were going on. I with really you. did. And how did it, specifically tell me? You know, how are you now? Now, thank God, I'm fine. Thank I, God. You know, I have been told that at the moment I'm cancer-free. You know, when you're a cancer patient, you have to be very careful about how you I approach know. your future. Um, but with reference to this particular test, I, uh, cancer is a disease in which many people feel the treatment is worse than the disease. Yes. That isn't true, but that's how you feel. And so when you have a test that isn't frightening, it's very encouraging. And I sometimes think that with the other kinds of tests, the CAT scans and the MRIs, I think of it as trap and zap. I, I, wanna, I would just want to ask you, because we don't have any time, really much time left, yeah. but just in terms of how did it feel for you? I mean, we, you know, like, what, what exactly did you experience it was, it was in this easy. test? It was easy. You had to climb up a, a, onto a bed, which it was just a couple of tiny steps, and then you simply lay there, uh -huh. and you put your breast in a, uh, I called it boob in a bowl, <laughs> in, in a, a sort of bath that you were, it was explained to you that it was uh, at the same temperature as your body, yeah. so you didn't feel anything. The technology applied was light. It was, I mean, it was, I, I mean, visual light. You couldn't see it, but it wasn't x-ray. You know, it was regular light. And the, in the bath that you were, that your breast was in, it was, uh, there was soy in it to make it feel um, comfortable. It was very Soft. comfortable. It felt really natural. The only problem was staying still. When you're a patient, you have to stay still a lot. Yeah. And you had to stay still for this test, but you were not confined. You were not, it, it just, it was, it felt natural. It felt very natural. I think you found a very good spokesperson here. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you both very much. And thanks for breaking down what it, what it actually felt like for people. I think it really made an impact. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. So really look at, there's, exciting. There's a, well, we just got a big grant from the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation and the Terry Fox Foundation. So we're now expanding this to include many more patients, hopefully other centers, so that we can really expand on this technology and hopefully in the future start to incorporate it in our treatment strategy so we'll know sooner rather than later whether a treatment's working. We love good news when we can get it. Absolutely. Thank you so much.